The Clinical Impact of Magnesium Deficiency Magnesium was first discovered in huge deposits near a Greek city called Magnesia. Magnesium sulfate, known today as Epsom salts, was used in ancient times as a laxative, and still is to this day. A 1697 medical paper titled Treatise on the Nature and Use of the Bitter Purging Salt Contained in Epsom and Such Other Water recommended magnesium for health problems as varied as skin ulcers, depression, vertigo, heartburn, worms, kidney stones, jaundice, and gout. Most of these problems are still treated with magnesium, and current research supports its use for many of those conditions, along with a long list of other ailments that you will hear about in a moment. 65 Conditions Associated with Magnesium Deficiency In the introduction to the first edition of The Magnesium Miracle, I listed 21 conditions that have a direct clinical correlation with magnesium deficiency and respond to magnesium treatment. From more recent magnesium research and clinical experience, I've expanded this list to 65 conditions. What follows is an overview of these conditions, some of which I will develop further in the text. 1. Acid reflux. Spasm of the lower esophageal sphincter at the juncture of the stomach can leave the sphincter open, causing acid reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, or heartburn. Magnesium relieves esophageal spasms. 2. Adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue follows after a time of chronic stress, anxiety, and panic attacks, and it seems to be occurring in epidemic proportions in recent years. Adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol, elevated in chronic stress, deplete magnesium. Stress causes excess elimination of magnesium through the urine, further compounding magnesium deficiency. Stress is such an overworked word, but we all suffer physical, emotional, and mental stress every day, and every bit of it drains magnesium. 3. Alzheimer's disease. Magnesium blocks the neuroinflammation caused by the inappropriate deposition of calcium and other heavy metals in brain cells. Magnesium is at work even before the inflammation appears, guarding cell ion channels and not allowing heavy metals to enter. Picometer, stabilized ionic magnesium, REMAG, easily enters cells and can help eliminate heavy metals and solubilize calcium. 4. Angina. The pain of angina is caused by severe spasms in heart muscles, which are caused by magnesium deficiency. The heart ventricles have the highest levels of magnesium in the whole body. This is why magnesium is so important for the pumping function of the heart. 5. Anxiety and panic attacks. When the adrenals are no longer protected by sufficient magnesium, the fight-or-flight hormones, adrenaline and noradrenaline, become more easily triggered. When they surge erratically, they cause rapid pulse, high blood pressure, and heart palpitations. The more magnesium deficient you are, the more exaggerated is the adrenaline response. Magnesium calms the nervous system, relaxes muscle tension, and lowers the pulse rate, helping to reduce anxiety and panic attacks. 6. Arthritis Magnesium can help dissolve calcium that builds up in joint spaces. It also can treat the pain and inflammation of arthritis as a safe substitute for pain medication. 7. Asthma Histamine production and bronchial spasms in the smooth muscles of the bronchial tract both increase as a result of magnesium deficiency. 8. Atherosclerosis with calcium deposits Magnesium is necessary to help dissolve calcium and keep it soluble in the bloodstream. Magnesium, along with vitamin K2, helps direct calcium to the bones where it belongs. 9. Blood clots Magnesium does not act like a blood-thinning drug. Instead, it prevents the calcium buildup that triggers clots. Magnesium naturally balances the clotting factors in the blood. 10. Bowel disease. Magnesium deficiency slows down bowel peristalsis, causing constipation, which can lead to toxicity as well as symptoms of colitis, microscopic colitis, IBS, diverticulitis, and Crohn's disease. 11. Brain dysfunction. You can obtain a free copy of the 355-page book Magnesium in the Central Nervous System, 2011, online, and read an extensive overview of the beneficial effects of magnesium on the brain. 12. Bruxism. Teeth grinding. Up to 80% of cases of bruxism occur during sleep, and your dentist may be the first to notice that your teeth are being gradually worn down. Bruxism is related to clenching of the jaw muscles during the day and is usually associated with stress or anxiety. Any muscle tension can be the result of magnesium deficiency. 13. Cholesterol elevation. 
When I was in medical school in the mid-1970s, normal cholesterol levels were considered to be around 245 milligrams per deciliter. In the first edition of the Magnesium Miracle, I reported allopathic medicine's normal value of cholesterol at 180 to 220 milligrams per deciliter. Now doctors are advising that cholesterol should be below 200 milligrams per deciliter, 5.2 millimoles per liter, to be considered normal. What doctors don't seem to know is that magnesium, bound to ATP, is a controlling factor for the rate-limiting enzyme in the cholesterol biosynthesis sequence that is targeted by the statin pharmaceutical drugs. Thus, magnesium is responsible for naturally slowing down HMG-CoA reductase activity when cholesterol is present in sufficient quantities. To repeat, this is the same enzyme that statin drugs target for destruction while creating magnesium deficiency. 14. Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, CFS I write about CFS in Chapter 12. It is remarkable how magnesium, especially Remag, can help people increase their energy and get back on track. We still don't know what causes CFS, but in my discussion about the interaction between calcium and magnesium, I consider whether calcium excess and magnesium deficiency could be the underlying cause of mitochondrial dysfunction that many natural medicine practitioners say can trigger chronic fatigue syndrome and other chronic diseases. 15. Cystitis Magnesium deficiency causes bladder spasms, which can cause urinary frequency, often misinterpreted as a bladder infection. Magnesium deficiency can also allow calcium to build up in the lining of the bladder and urethra, causing irritation that mimics cystitis. We've had reports from elderly women who have thrown away their adult diapers because, apparently, Remag dissolves bladder tissue calcification and eliminates incontinence. 16. Depression Serotonin, a neurotransmitter that elevates mood, depends on magnesium for its production and function, whether it's made in the brain or in the intestines. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter that helps control the brain's reward and pleasure centers, utilizes magnesium in several steps in its biochemical pathway. A magnesium-deficient brain is also more susceptible to allergens and foreign substances, which, in some instances, can cause symptoms similar to mental illness. 17. Detoxification Magnesium is crucial for the removal of toxic substances and heavy metals such as mercury, aluminum, and lead from the cells. Magnesium is a cofactor in both the production of glutathione and the function of the P450 detoxification pathways in the liver. 18. Diabetes Magnesium is necessary to make and secrete insulin, facilitates carbohydrate metabolism, and allows insulin to transfer glucose into cells. Otherwise, glucose and insulin build up in the blood, causing various types of tissue damage. Tyrosine kinase an enzyme that allows glucose entry into the cell, along with insulin, is magnesium-dependent. Seven of the ten enzymes needed to metabolize glucose in the process called glycolysis are also magnesium-dependent. All these factors mean that magnesium helps to overcome insulin resistance. 19. Fatigue Magnesium-deficient patients commonly experience fatigue because hundreds of enzyme systems are underfunctioning. The most important factor in energy production is ATP, which must be bound to a magnesium ion in order to be biologically active. Magnesium ATP is produced in the Krebs cycle, which requires magnesium in six of its eight steps. The Krebs cycle begins by using pyruvate from the glycolysis cycle and functions exclusively in the mitochondria. 20. Headaches Muscle tension and spasms in neck and head muscles can be alleviated with magnesium therapy. Magnesium can be either applied locally or taken orally. 21. Heart disease. The heart, specifically the left ventricle, has the highest amount of magnesium in the whole body. Magnesium deficiency is common in people with heart disease, and taking magnesium can reduce that risk. IV magnesium can prevent heart muscle damage and cardiac arrhythmia, if given at the onset of a heart attack. Most drugs used in treating heart disease drain magnesium from the body. 22. Hypertension With insufficient magnesium and too much calcium, the smooth muscles lining blood vessels can go into spasm and cause high blood pressure. 
If cholesterol is elevated, which can also be due to magnesium deficiency, cholesterol can bind with calcium, causing atherosclerosis in the blood vessels and worsening high blood pressure. 23. Hypoglycemia. Magnesium regulates the production of insulin so that inappropriately large amounts aren't released, which would cause the blood sugar to drop suddenly, resulting in symptoms of low blood sugar. 24. Indigestion. The gastric proton pump that acidifies the contents of the stomach for proper digestion is dependent on magnesium. 25. Inflammation. Most drug companies are now embracing inflammation and not cholesterol as the cause of heart disease. They don't know what causes inflammation, but that doesn't stop them from producing drugs to suppress it. Drug companies don't acknowledge that calcium is extremely pro-inflammatory, and magnesium is very anti-inflammatory. The entire inflammatory cascade, which involves substance P, interleukins, tumor necrosis factor, chemokines, and cytokines, escalates when magnesium is deficient. The bottom line is that inflammation is triggered by magnesium deficiency and relative calcium excess. 26. Insomnia. Magnesium relieves the muscle tension that can prevent restful sleep. Also, sleep-regulating melatonin pathway production is disturbed without sufficient magnesium. Magnesium is so effective as a sleep aid that if someone is taking magnesium and their sleep is not improved, I say, take more magnesium. You may have to take Remag to get the therapeutic effect without the laxative effect. 27. Irritable Bowel Syndrome In my book, IBS for Dummies, I describe the importance of magnesium in the treatment of pain and spasm in IBS. 28. Kidney disease. Magnesium deficiency contributes to atherosclerotic kidney failure because calcium builds up in the renal kidney arteries. Magnesium deficiency leads to abnormal lipid levels and worsening blood sugar control in kidney transplant patients. It's important for kidney patients to receive picometer stabilized ionic magnesium, Remag, that is absorbed directly into cells and therefore does not build up in the blood to cause electrolyte imbalance and rhythm disturbances. 29. Kidney Stones Listen to Chapter 11 for evidence of magnesium's ability to prevent and treat kidney stones, especially when combined with its partner, vitamin B6. 30. Migraine Deficiency of serotonin can result in migraine headaches and depression. Serotonin depends on magnesium for proper balance. Also, tiny blood clots can block capillaries in the brain, leading to migraines. Magnesium prevents calcium from causing inappropriate blood clotting. It is well known that IV and oral magnesium can treat and prevent migraine headaches. 31. Musculoskeletal Conditions Insufficient magnesium and the relative excess of calcium will cause sustained muscle contraction in any muscle group in the body. The following musculoskeletal conditions are amenable to magnesium therapy. A. Muscle cramps B. Fibrocytis C. Fibromyalgia D. GI spasms, chronic pain from undiagnosed spasms, can lead to inappropriate exploratory surgery. E. Tension headaches. F. Muscle spasms in any muscle of the body. G. Chronic neck and back pain. H. Jaw tension. 32. Nerve problems, neuralgia, neuritis, neuropathy. Insufficient magnesium and the relative excess of calcium will cause sustained nerve excitation in any nerve cells in the body. Magnesium alleviates the following nerve disturbances that can occur. A. Burning pain. B. Muscle weakness. C. Numbness. D. Paralysis. E. Pins and needles sensations. F. Seizures and convulsions. G. Skin sensitivity. H. Tingling. I. Twitching. J. Vertigo. K. Confusion. 33. Obstetrical and gynecological problems. Magnesium helps prevent or treat the following. A. Premenstrual syndrome. B. Dysmenorrhea, cramping pain during menses. C. Female infertility, by relieving fallopian tube spasm. D. Premature contractions, which can be triggered by magnesium deficiency muscle spasms. E. Preeclampsia and eclampsia in pregnancy, fluid retention, high blood pressure, and seizures. F. Cerebral palsy. G. Sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. H. Male infertility. 
Magnesium and zinc are present in significant quantities in healthy semen. 34. Osteoporosis. Low magnesium in the presence of elevated calcium, with or without vitamin D, triggers a cascade of events leading to bone loss. 35. Parkinson's disease. Dopamine deficiency results in Parkinson's disease, and magnesium is a required cofactor in the production of dopamine. Magnesium blocks the neuroinflammation caused by calcium deposits in the brain. 36. Raynaud syndrome. Magnesium helps relax the spastic blood vessels that cause pain and numbness of the fingers. 37. Sports injuries. Pain, inflammation, muscle spasm, muscle tension, and scarring can all be treated with magnesium. 38. Sports recovery. Magnesium reduces lactic acid buildup and replaces loss of magnesium in sweat, which otherwise can result in post-exercise pain. 39. Temporal mandibular joint syndrome, TMJ. This hinge joint connects the jawbone to the cheekbone. The joint can become irritated and inflamed due to arthritis, excessive gum chewing, injury to the teeth or jaw, misalignment of the teeth or jaw, poor posture, stress, and teeth grinding. Most of these factors are aggravated by magnesium deficiency. 40. Tongue biting. In a magnesium deficient person, the muscles of the tongue and the muscles lining the inside of the mouth can go into spasm while the person is eating, causing the teeth to suddenly and inadvertently clamp down on the tongue or the lining of the inside of the mouth. 41. Tooth decay. Magnesium deficiency causes an unhealthy balance of phosphorus and calcium in saliva, which damages the teeth. If you tell me you are taking magnesium and are still having magnesium deficiency symptoms, it usually means you aren't taking enough, or you aren't taking the right kind of magnesium. I encourage you to find out if you are absorbing magnesium by ordering a magnesium RBC test. Listen to Chapter 16 for more on magnesium testing. If you are not absorbing magnesium, the solution is to take picometer stabilized ionic remag, which is completely absorbed at the cellular level. If your doctor doesn't realize that the aforementioned 65 conditions can be due to magnesium deficiency and are treatable with magnesium, you will be prescribed drugs. Unfortunately, drugs such as painkillers, diuretics, antibiotics, and cortisone further deplete magnesium and other minerals, allowing symptoms to get completely out of control. A study conducted by the Mayo Clinic made the headlines with the following sensational title. Study shows 70% of Americans take prescription drugs. Based on the prescription records of 147,377 patients, Mayo Clinic researchers found that almost 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription drug, and more than 50% take two. 20% of patients are on five or more prescription medications, and one in four women between the ages of 50 and 64 is on antidepressants. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the percentage of people using at least one prescription drug in the past month increased nearly 50 percent between 2007 and 2010. Prescription drug spending is likely to only continue to increase in the future. While the Mayo Clinic study reported that payment for prescription drugs reached $250 billion in 2009, and accounted for 12% of total personal health care expenditures, in 2015, the IMS Institute for Healthcare Informatics found that drug spending in the United States had reached $310 billion annually. That was a 24% increase in just six years. Who is deficient? The questions I'm most frequently asked about magnesium are, how do I know if I need more magnesium? And should I take magnesium supplements? I have come to the conclusion that everyone could benefit from magnesium supplementation. You can find out if you are magnesium deficient by identifying your magnesium deficiency symptoms and or having your blood tested. I talk about the three magnesium blood tests in Chapter 16. However, a blood test and your clinical symptoms together, or your clinical symptoms alone, can give you your answer. There is a long list of possible symptoms and behaviors that can confirm your need for magnesium. The following 100 factors in 68 categories will help you recognize why you may be magnesium deficient. There's no way of knowing how many factors correlate with any one person's magnesium deficiency. But if you find yourself ticking off a dozen or more, you may want to see how many of your symptoms improve after you take magnesium supplements. 100 Factors Related to Magnesium Deficiency 1. 
alcohol intake, more than seven drinks per week. Two, anger. Three, angina. Four, anxiety. Five, apathy. Six, arrhythmia of the heart. Seven, asthma. Eight, blood tests. A, low calcium. B, low potassium. C, low magnesium. Nine, bowel problems. A, undigested fat in stool. B, constipation. C, diarrhea. D, alternating constipation and diarrhea. E, irritable bowel syndrome. F, Crohn's. G, colitis, microscopic colitis. 10, brain trauma. 11, bronchitis, chronic. 12, caffeine, coffee, tea, chocolate. More than three servings per day. 13, chronic fatigue syndrome. 14, cold extremities. 15, concentration difficulties. 16, confusion. 17, convulsions. 18, depression. 19, diabetes. A, type 1. B, type 2. C, gestational diabetes. 20, fibromyalgia. 21, food cravings. A, carbohydrates. B, chocolate. C, salt. D, junk food. 22. Food intake imbalances. A. Limited in green leafy vegetables, seeds, and fresh fruit. B. High protein diet. 23. Gagging or choking on food. 24. Headaches. 25. Heart disease. 26. Heart rapid rate. 27. High blood pressure. 28. Hyperactivity. 29. Hyperhomocysteinemia. 30. Hyperventilation. 31. Infertility. 32. Insomnia. 33. Irritability. 34. Kidney stones. 35. Medications. A. Digitalis. B. Diuretics. C. Antibiotics. D. Steroids. E. Oral contraceptives. F. Endomethacin. G. Cisplatin. H. Amphotericin B. I. Cholesteramine. J. Synthetic estrogens. 36. Memory impairment. 37. Menstrual pain and cramps. 38. Mercury amalgam dental fillings. 39. Migraines. 40. Mineral supplements. A. Taking calcium without magnesium. B. Taking zinc without magnesium. C. Poorly absorbed forms of magnesium block iron absorption. Well absorbed forms assist iron absorption. 41. Mitral valve prolapse. 42. Muscle cramps or spasms. 43. Muscle twitching or tics. 44. Muscle weakness. 45. Numbness of hands or feet. 46. Osteoporosis. 47. Paranoia. 48. Parathyroid hyperactivity. 49. Polycystic ovarian disease. 50. Pregnancy. A. Currently pregnant. B. Pregnant within the past year. C. History of preeclampsia or eclampsia. D. Postpartum depression. E. Have a child with cerebral palsy. 51. Premenstrual syndrome. 52. Radiation therapy. Recent. 53. Renault syndrome. 54. Restlessness. 55. Sexual energy diminished. 56. Shortness of breath. 57. Smoking. 58. Startled easily by noise. 59. Stressful life or circumstances. 60. Stroke. 61. Sugar. High intake daily. 62. Syndrome X. 63. Thyroid hyperactivity. 64. Tingling of hands or feet. 65. Transplants. A. Kidney. B. Liver. 66. Tremor of the hands. 67. Water that contains the following. A. Fluoride. B. Chlorine. C. Calcium. 68. Wheezing. Magnesium and Jane's Top 10 Improvements One woman in her early 50s, whom I'll call Jane, filled out my patient symptom survey. The survey has 70 questions, each scored on a scale of 0 to 10. A healthy person would have a very low score from 0 to 30. Jane, however, scored an incredible 275. After three months with only the addition of magnesium, Jane sent me a list of the top 10 improvements she had already seen. One, less knee pain. 
Our knees take the runt of our weight. The knee is just a simple hinge joint that is held in place by the thigh and leg muscles. If those muscles are tight or in spasm, that alone can cause a slight displacement of the knee, which over time can turn into what medicine calls knee arthritis. However, instead of immediately going on pain medication or undergoing knee surgery to clean out the joint, magnesium supplementation to relax the muscles is the treatment of choice. Two, carbohydrate sugar cravings reduced. On a scale of zero to 10, Jane saw her level of cravings drop from 9 to 0 0.5. Magnesium is a necessary cofactor in the proper metabolism of carbohydrates. It also helps insulin work properly to put sugar inside cells where it belongs and not leave it in the bloodstream, where it can continue to cause sugar cravings. 3. Facial wrinkles and crevices diminishing. This is a new benefit of magnesium that I hadn't heard before, but Jane is a very observant lady. I'm sure others are receiving the benefit of magnesium in this way but aren't taking note. It's likely to do with tissue integrity, cellular hydration, and cell health, all of which are important effects of magnesium balance. 4. Dramatic reduction in migraines. Migraines can cause the most severe pain known to humans. They are debilitating and said to be incurable. Lifelong use of pain medication seems to be the only option that doctors can offer. However, Jane and thousands of others that took the advice from the magnesium miracle have found relief from migraines and headaches by using magnesium. In Chapter 4, I talk about also using a combination of methylated B vitamins, B2, B6, B12, and folate, in a product called Realign, if magnesium alone doesn't give full relief. 5. Periods went from dark to bright red, and from severe clots to minimal. Magnesium works in several ways to lessen the intensity of menstrual flow. It facilitates the oxygenation of the blood and detoxifies it, changing a dark, toxic flow to a bright red one. It also thins the blood naturally, breaking up clots. 6. Able to exercise intensively for the first time in years. Prior to this, Jane would be exhausted for at least three days after any exercise. In Jane's case, it was probably a combination of things. She likely didn't have enough magnesium to neutralize the lactic acid she was building up, so instead she got aches and pains. Also, one of the first symptoms of magnesium deficiency is fatigue. Adenosine triphosphate, ATP, is the energy molecule that is created with the help of magnesium. When you don't have sufficient ATP, you just don't have the oomph that you need to exercise. 7. Sleep has improved. When your body is magnesium deficient, it's as if your cells and nerves are all on edge. They're tight and contracted and ready to snap. If you lie down in that state, your body can't relax, your mind can't relax, and you toss and turn. Simply having the proper amount of magnesium turns off that tension, relaxes your muscles, and allows you to slip into sleep. 8. Able to keep going past 6.30 p.m. Without enough magnesium, the energy the body gets from ATP is diminished, and people have no staying power. 9. Less sound sensitivity, hypersensitivity. Studies done on pilots showed an increased sound sensitivity in the face of magnesium deficiency. A woman phoned in to a talk show I was appearing on and asked about her son, who was in a rock band. She said that her son had developed a tick below one eye and wondered if it could be magnesium deficiency. I said it absolutely could. 10. Better able to concentrate when someone is speaking to her. Jane had been finding that her concentration was hampered, especially if there was a lot of background noise. Poor concentration is not something you will find in a list of symptoms of magnesium deficiency. However, it makes sense that if your body is tense and irritable and you are sound sensitive, then you can have trouble concentrating. Magnesium and blepharospasm. A dentist from Mexico wrote to tell me about the 20 symptoms that improved when she took magnesium. The most dramatic was her incurable eye-blinking. I'll let her tell her own story. Hello, Dr. Dean. I'm a Mexican dentist, 42 years old. In June 2002, I started feeling something like sand in my eyes and went to an ophthalmologist, whose diagnosis was allergic dermatoconjunctivitis, and I was prescribed some ointments and drops for my eyes. They didn't work, so I went to see another four ophthalmologists, and they changed the diagnosis to keratitis. 
In the meantime, I started to develop eye blinking that got worse and worse until it became such a severe spasm that I couldn't open my eyes. I also started having tetany, muscle spasms. From the first doctor until this point, two months had passed. Needless to say, I was desperate and very depressed. I couldn't work, drive, or even walk. Then I went to see a neuro-ophthalmologist who gave me the terrible diagnosis of essential blepharal spasm, eyelid twitching, which means that they don't know what causes it, and of course there is no cure. He also told me that this was known as Mege syndrome, and he offered me three options. One, to take neurological prescriptions, sedatives, for life. The prescription would have to be changed every three months because they lose their effect. Two, Botox injections, with the risk that the eyelid could droop. Three, a facial nerve blockage, the motor part, in my face. The treatment is horrible. They give you shots all around the forehead and eyelids with an alcohol-derived substance. The injections go to the depth of the bone. He recommended that I try number three first, so I accepted the treatment. This was in August 2002. Let me tell you that it was a horrible experience. My face was swollen to at least five times normal size, and he definitely did something wrong because he left me with facial paralysis on the left side. So my right eye couldn't close, and my left eye was still closed because it didn't respond to the shots. He prescribed me cortisone and told me that we had to wait and see what happened. I was feeling miserable. And then the miracle happened. I needed something to be fixed in my kitchen, and the person who came to do the job brought your book about magnesium. It caught my attention because I had started to take a calcium-magnesium supplement because someone told me that it was very good for stress. By this time I couldn't read because the eye drops I was using caused medriasis, excessively dilated pupils. He saw my interest and obvious need for magnesium and brought me a copy of the book the next day. Since I could do absolutely nothing else, I made a huge effort and started to read the book line by line. As I got further and further, I realized that almost everything that I was reading was about the health problems I've had my whole life. So I started to take magnesium. I got magnesium chloride in drops and started to take it in November 2002. I began to improve week by week. Four weeks later, the injection paralysis was gone, and the blepharal spasm was improving beautifully. Besides the blepharal spasm and paralysis, these are all my other symptoms that are diminishing day by day. One, chronic fatigue syndrome. Two, PMS. Three, excessive emotional stress. Four, joint pain. Five, back and neck pain. Six, constipation. Seven, anxiety. Eight, nervousness. Nine, arrhythmia. Ten, cystitis. Eleven, colitis. 12. Bad circulation. 13. Cold hands and feet. 14. Feeling disoriented in space and time. 15. Depression without apparent cause and inability to cope with everyday things. 16. Flatulence. 17. Mood swings. 18. Hormonal imbalance. My symptoms are not 100% gone, but almost. The incurable blepharospasm has almost disappeared, and I feel that it will very soon be gone completely. I'm taking 800 milligrams of magnesium per day, 400 milligrams in the morning, and 400 milligrams before going to bed. I'm also taking flaxseed oil and a multivitamin for women. I'm telling you my story because if someone has the same diagnosis, I want them to know that there is hope, that this is curable with the miracle of magnesium. Thank you very much. Drugs and magnesium.